Welcome to another segment of Teen Health Talks. I'm Amy Gorniak, a doctoral practicum student working with the Teen Health Center. COVID-19 has changed a lot of things in our lives, from routines at home and school to the way we connect with family and friends. For some of us, those changes could cause stress, anxiety, or a variety of other emotions. Some of the things happening around us, school closings, events being canceled, they're out of our control. That may sound like a real downer, but let's flip that script in our minds for a moment. Because sometimes it can be helpful to identify what we can and cannot control. Why? Because then we can focus on the things that have a real impact on what is happening in our lives. So how do we do that? We'll start by grabbing two blank sheets of paper and a pen. Take a few minutes, maybe set your phone alarm for two minutes, reflect and write down everything that comes into your mind that you're stressed about. Some of my examples are things like having to suddenly do school online, the internet not working right, people arguing on social media, being stuck in the house for like three days because it's raining, having too much on my to-do list, feeling stressed, arguing with my spouse. And then on your second sheet of paper, I want you to draw a big circle like this. And inside that, draw a second circle. And in that outer circle, you're gonna write the things on the list you can't control. How do you know they go in this circle? Well, they're things like what others do and feel in the environment. On my list, I'm gonna put the weather, the internet not working, and people arguing on social media. These are all things that come from outside of me, right? So I can't control them as much as I sometimes wish I could. And in the inner circle, I'm gonna write the things I can control. How do I know they go in this circle? Well, they come from me. My feelings, my words, my thoughts, actions, time and effort. With healthy coping strategies, I can manage my feelings. So feeling stressed can go here because I can do something like deep breathing to relax. I can choose my words and actions. So if I'm feeling angry with my spouse, I can go to the other room and calm down before I talk to him. I can learn better ways to manage my time. So having a long to-do list can go here as well. Sometimes when we start to feel stressed and overwhelmed, we might wanna just take a minute and identify whether it's something we can control or not. Then if we can control it, we can start brainstorming ways to change things for the better. If we can't, we can choose to take a moment, practice a coping strategy, and move our focus to something that is within our circle of control. I'm Amy, and that's your tip for the day from Teen Health Talks. Like and subscribe to stay tuned for more tips and ideas in future segments.